New at 10 o'clock, attacked on a North Texas running trail. Tonight, one North Texas woman is sharing what happened to her as police search for the attacker. She's one of six victims in Arlington, Hearst, Euless, and Haltom City. Our Marianne Martinez is live in Haltom City with that story. Marianne? Well, Ken, the attack happened right here, just a few feet from the victim's home. Now, this very traumatic event is her story, so we asked her to share what she felt comfortable sharing with us. But we do want to warn some of our viewers that you may find what you're about to hear disturbing. I was just kicking and screaming. I didn't get to get a good look at his face. She did everything she thought a woman should do to stay safe while jogging. Amanda Eberhardt went running during the day. She was close to home and her loved ones knew where she was and still it happened. September 2nd, a man dressed like a runner came up behind her, pinned her face down, groped her over her clothes. We asked her to share only what she felt comfortable with. He ended up put using his hands down there and doing other things down there. He was very much, it was very much a sexual assault case. Eberhardt says a truck drove by and scared him away. Police across Tarrant County believe the same man who attacked her groped five other women. The other cases involve only over the close groping of private parts. Police note he has gotten more violent. The most serious case is Eberhardt's. I was devastated. I mean, my incident alone is, it keeps me up at night, but to know that he is continuing and he was before me, that there are so many other women who are just as traumatized, it's heartbreaking. How big of a concern is that he could do something worse to somebody else? Oh, like it literally just like gives me the chills thinking about it. I hate thinking that there's, he's just out there. Now there is no good description according to police of this man because he did come up behind all of the victims but they all say the same thing about his height his weight that's why they believe it is the same man now we did check with police no arrests have been made yet but thankfully no new cases have been reported since about a week ago when the police went public that they believed that this was the same man reporting live from Haltom city marianne martinez cbs 11 news